Hey folks, we are here once again. Oh boy, this news sucks. I'm shocked and I'm in disbelief right now. I can't believe this happened. You know, it's. I'm at a loss for words right now. I'm sure you heard the news yesterday, or well, it was last night for me, but yesterday that, yesterday that Chadwick, the actor named Chadwick Bosman, who played Black Panther in the Marvel franchise, yeah, he was Black Panther in the Marvel franchise, and he's done some couple other movies as well, a very good actor, that he sadly passed away yesterday, or I think last night. I want to say his rest in peace, Chadwick Bosman. Uh, yeah, this is him. Uh, this is just sad. I'm like, when I looked it up, it said that he died. He uh, he was battling four years of colon cancer or something. It wasn't coronavirus that got him, but this year sucks. I hate 2020. Fuck this year. I'm gonna say that. I mean it. I'm gonna say it. I mean it. I hate this year. I hate this year. I hate the coronavirus. I hate what's been going on this year. You know. We've lost a lot of good people this year, and now Chadwick Bosman we've lost. It's just sad that he's gone. You know, I can't believe it. 43 years old. That's too young. You know. He died. Sorry. Yeah. He died way too young. Ah. When I saw him on Facebook yesterday, I thought it was a joke or somebody playing a joke. But then I realized it wasn't. I'm like... Yeah, I am in shock and disbelief, and I'm not lost for words, I'm like... Last night I almost cried, you know, when I went to bed, you know, just... thinking about this and what happened to him, and I'm like, wow. Seemed like a really nice guy, and like King T'Challa from Black Panther, you know, like, much like a character, he seemed like a man who had a good heart, and, uh... he was a Christian, which is a good thing, you know, because I was a Christian too. I, I believe in God, yes, but... I'm not going to throw that all over the table in this video, but at least he's in heaven, you know, and amen to that, I say, uh, you know, but, don't want to get too personal there, but, yeah, passing away of that, you know, just, you know, 40 years of that cancer, and at 43 years old, I just can't believe it, I'm sorry folks, he had too much to live for, he had, you know, he had, he should have gone on with a career, you know. He had more to do in life. There was more life out there for him. You know. But, anyway, I hate doing these kind of videos, but I wanted to pay my tribute to Shadow Cosmo. I'm trying not to cry. I kind of got that out last night. So, uh, yeah, I'd say this sucks, you know. Uh, I'm going to miss him because I thought he was a really good actor. I saw the movie 42, which Jackie Brown, which I thought he did, a, he gave a great performance in that film. He was in that movie with Harrison Ford, and he did, I saw it on Netflix. I watched it on Netflix, and he was really good, you know. And I, of course, I love Black Panther. I enjoyed the film. I think it's one of the best superhero films ever made, in my personal opinion. I enjoyed the film. I thought he gave a great performance, you know. Ever since we've seen Captain America Civil War, he really left, I agree with my friend with John Avengers said, he did leave an imp he left impact, you know. It was four years ago in 2016 when we saw Captain America Civil War in theaters, and Black Panther, seeing him for the first time, he did a great job, you know, as the character. You know. And even in, like, King T'Challa and Black Panther, the movie, like I said, it seems like in real life he has a good heart. He had a good heart. Jackie Robertson. I heard you play James Brown and, and, and get on up. Which I need to see. But I just basically remember him from Black, as Black Panther, you know. I know people are worried about the sequel. I don't care about that. Who cares? People are freaking out about a sequel right now. Like, that doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't want a sequel now. That's like I don't want Fast 9. I don't care to see Fast 9. There's no Paul Walker in it. No Paul Walker's gone. Fast 8 was alright. Fast, Fast 8 is a comedy service film, in my opinion. And, you know, he, you know, I think he was really the heart and soul of Civil War. Uh, to me, he was, 
the heart and soul of Civil War, you know. I know people, you and Dramatic picked that, but I really felt like his character was the dramatic one in the movie the most because of his father passing in the movie, and, yeah. You know, or I know Black Panther, you know, that he was the heart and soul of the movie. And without him, you know, to me, like, Christopher Reeve is Superman to me, Chadwick Bosman is Black Panther, and to me, nobody can replace him. You know, you just can't have a Black Panther 2 without him. And I don't want a sequel. I don't care. I still want to see it if they do it. I don't care about it. Because to me, he was Black Panther. To me, that was his role. Nobody can take it away from him, you know. Nobody can fill in the King's chair like he could. So, it just won't be the same. But anyway, let's talk about his life a little bit. I prefer to do these tribute, my tribute, these videos, I like to do these tribute videos, well, I don't like doing them, but before, I really remember how the person, how he lived, instead of how he passed away. But we're going to talk about that too, so, you know. And like I said, I got my kids out last night, you know. Watching some good friends on Facebook, their YouTube videos were, come on too, one of them, one of them were actually crying, and I don't blame them. It's very sad. Of course, he passed away. He, for over anything like that, you know, you didn't know the person, but still, it's sad, you know. Anyway, Chadwick Bosman was born and raised in Edgerton, South Carolina, to Carolyn and Leo Bosman, both African American. According to Bosman, his DNA test and kid indicated that his ancestors were Creole people from Sierra Youth people from Nigeria and Lumba people from Sierra. His mother was a nurse and his father worked as a textile factory in morning. Bosman graduated from Teal Hannah High School in 1995. And in his junior year, he wrote his first play, Crossroads, and staged it as a school after the classmate was sh and staged it at the school after a classmate was shot and killed. Wow. Bosman attended a college at Howard University in Washington, D.C., graduating in 2000 with a Bachelor's of Fine Arts and Directing. One of his teachers who became a mentor, she helped raise funds so that Baldwin and some classmates could attend the Oxford Midsummer Program of the British American Drama, to which they, they had been accepted. Baldwin wanted to write and direct, and since they began studying acting, learned how to relate to actors. After he returned to the U.S., he graduated from New York City's Digital Film Academy. He lived in Brooklyn at the start of his career. Baldwin worked as a drama instructor in the, in the junior in the Sherberg, I can't say it right, Junior Scholars Program, has of the, okay, it was in New York in 2008, he moved to Los Angeles to pursue an acting career. Bosman got his first television role in 2003 in an episode of Third Watch. His other works include episodes of the series Law and Order, CSI, NY, and EOR. He also continued to write plays with his script for Deep. Israel performed it at the Congo. In 2008, he played a recorder on the television series Lincoln Heights and appeared in his first feature film, The Express, The Iron Davis Story. He landed a regular role in 2010 in another television series, Persons Unknown. Pernier had his first star role in the, 2015, in the 2013 film, For A.T. Lighting, so he played Jackie Robertson in that movie. He thought he did a really good job, really gave a great performance. Both his emotion in that movie of well, there was racism in that movie. I remember there was a scene in the movie when when he plays when he played Jackie Robertson where he was playing baseball and the coach, the other side coach, was making racist remarks and making fun of him, and he couldn't hear some four told, told him you can't say nothing back, you can't do nothing back, or you won't be allowed to play baseball. So, and he wants to play baseball in the movie, so. And you know, just Chadwick Bosman acting when the coach walks up to him and he says racist stuff and he has that look on his eyes like he wants to hit him but it's like he's about to, you know, he's about to start crying. That was uh, emotional to watch. And I thought Chadwick Bosman, he did a fantastic job, you know, in the role of Jackie Robertson. You know, he had been directing an off screenplay in East Village when he auditioned for the role. He was considered giving up acting direct and directing full time. So I don't know if he became a director of. Uh, He's a producer, but it's sad because he could have been a director. Think about it, folks. He could have directed movies. You know. He wanted to be, I think his real dream was to not just be an actor, but a director. I'm a, I would have loved to see a movie if he would have directed it. I think he could pull it off. About 25 other actors have been seriously considered for the role, but director Ryan Hill 
Lloyd Bosman's bravery and cast him after he had auditioned twice. Twice. So at least the, at least he's a man who had courage to keep on doing it. In 2013, he also started the film called The Kill Hall. In 2014, Bosman appeared opposite Kevin Costner in a draft day. I think my dad's seen that movie. Later that year, he was he started as James Brown in, in Get On Up, which I need to see that movie. He was in Gods of Egypt. In 2016, he started in the Marvel Universe. He became part of the Marvel family. Marvel family that I love. I love the Marvel family. You know, where he got to finally play in Captain America Civil War, to show up up Panther, being his first film in the first picture, picture deal with Marvel. He had a level of Panther in 2018, which focused more on his character and his controversial conduct. The film opened to great expectation, become one of the highest grossing films of the United States. He was proud of the role in both which Avengers Infinity War and, of course, Avengers Endgame, which was probably his last time. Both films were the highest grossing of the year they were released. The, in, in the same year, 2019, starring 21 Bridges, which I've heard of that movie. It's an action thriller film, which I like to see. That Bosman was cast in the Netflix drama film, Give Five Bloods, directed by Spike Lee. The film was released on June 12, 2020. I guess that was, well, I don't know if it was his for the last movie. Like I said, he did some television shows too, and he'd been at it for a while, but he never, I don't think, fully got to be a director. I think he wanted to be a film director as well, and he never got to be. But his first life, Bogman was raised as a Christian and was baptized. He's part of a church choir and a youth group, and former pastor said that he still kept his faith. Amen to that. I'm glad he did. I'm glad he kept his faith in God. You know, I'm sorry I'm not trying to get religious here or anything, you know. Bosman has stated that he prayed to the he, that he prayed to be the Black Panther before he was cast as the character in the MCU. So that is awesome that you know the good Lord let him be that. You know, yeah. He was also a vegetarian. Bosman was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer in 2016, which that was also the year I think Civil War came out. So I guess he's decided to keep it private, which is fine because you know with actors when they announce something the. You know, the media will go all over it and it'll be announced in front of the whole entire world that he's got cancer. And I guess he just didn't want people to worry about him. Maybe he just, I think he just chose to keep it private, you know. I guess he probably, some actors I think would rather, you know, keep some of their personal lives private and not just share everything. And that's fine. Even actors do that to them. So I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of MCU actors out there, Marvel actors that have kept their lives private, which every actor or actress has done that, which is fine. You know, I don't say everything here on my YouTube channel, you know, not, my, not and everything that's my personal life, you know, because that's my business, but, you know. He was a missing progress to stage four. Bossman had not spoken publicly about his cancer diagnosis. News of his death was released on August 28th, 2020, which for me was last night. News of his death was released in all. I mean, during treatment, multiple surgeries, and I bet he had multiple surgeries and chemotherapy. And this was all during the four years, guys, that maybe he was doing, like, Civil War. Maybe when he was talking about Panther, he was probably uh, going in, you know, for surgeries and stuff during the making of the films. I'm not sure. To work in, including filming for several films, including Mar Marshall, Defraud Rose, Man Mama's Rainbow, Bottom, and others, which I think was his last film. Bosman died at home at his home of complications related to colon cancer on August 28, 2020, with his wife, family, and his family by his side. And a voice of statement on his social media accounts reads, It was with a real grief that we confirmed the passing Chadwick Baldwin. Chadwick was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016. That was with the last four years. A true fighter, Chadwick pursued through it all and brought you many of the films you have come to love so much, from Marshall to Defy Plus. August Wilson's Mom was wearing black bottom and several more. All of them during and between countless surgeries and, wow, and chemotherapy. So I guess he, you know, it was the honor of his career to bring King to show it to life in Black Panther. <coughs> he died in his home with his wife and his friend by his side. The family thanks you for their love and prayers and ask you to continue to respect their privacy during this difficult time. Yes, I will say my prayers for his family. You know, my love and my prayers will go back to them. You know, just remember to say a prayer for them. Matter of fact, let's just have a moment.
or shadow balls, but I just want to um, have a moment right now. Just remember, guys, to say a prayer out there for his family and stuff. Just pray for them. Pray that they're doing okay. And just, you know, whatever you do, just, whatever you guys do, you know, I'm not telling you we have to pray. But, you know, I'm just saying maybe it would be a nice thing to do for his family. That would be a very great thing to do. Many fellow actors and celebrities pay tribute to Bosman following his death, including the light from the Avengers. Don Cheeto said, I will miss you, birthday brother. You always let love to me. Chris Pratt, who plays Star Wars, expressed his prayers to bless some families and loved ones. Mark Ruffalo started alongside him as Hulk said, It was the highest honor getting to work with you and getting to know you. You were a generous and sincere human being. Zoe Zolanda, who played Gamora, called, called him a king. And she said something on Twitter, but she missed him. And Brie Larson, someone who, Brie Larson, who played Captain Marvel, said, Someone who radiated power and peace and stood for so much more than himself. Chris Evans, who played Captain America, betrayed a message saying that this was obviously David, that he was devastated. Not by him. He was a true original. Most studios president, CEO Kevin Feige, Carl Bosman, you know, absolutely, he also said, absolutely devastating. But each time he stepped on set, he radiated charisma and joy, and each time he appeared on screen, he created something truly individual. He was a smart and kind and powerful and strong as a person that he betrayed. And now he takes on his place alongside as an icon for the ages. Other actors who appear in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, including Timmy Liu, in the upcoming film Shanghai, Ten Rings, who played Blade in the upcoming movie the film's same name, as well as remember the other actors such as Dwayne Johnson, Ice Cube, Josh Gad, Jordan People, Henry Goldman, and Tish also paid tribute to Bosman. You know, which was very nice for them to do. You know, it's just, you know. And of course, he won some Academy Awards for like best hero, best performance in a movie. I think that was for Black Panther, which he deserved. As I said before, it's by casting a motion picture. I think actor in a motion picture, I guess, for uh, Endgame, which uh, he deserved. You know. Um. Yeah. But Chadwick and Bosman, uh, I don't know what the real is what to say, but I don't want to cry on screen. I just refuse to do it. I, I cried last night. I just don't want to cry on here. You know. Just, uh, we're going to miss you, Chadwick Bosman. Yes. You will be missed. My prayers, you know, my love and my heart, you know, goes up to your family. And, uh, I don't know if he had little kids or big kids, but it just let me think of last night that, well, if he has little kids, when they graduate high school, he's not going to be there to see it. When they get married, he's not going to be there to see it. You know, when they have grandkids, when they, when they have, when his children have children, and he becomes, he's not going to be there to be a grandfather and to see his own grandkids get married someday. Just thinking about that, just, that got to me last night thinking about that. I don't know if he has little kids, I'm not sure. I, I, like I said, I didn't know him, but it's just sad thinking about that, you know. And his wife, she, she lost her, her partner, you know, for I don't know how long. But they probably were married for a good while, and, uh, yeah. You know. Sorry about the card. I know what you're thinking. Well, Levi, you didn't know him. You didn't know the guy. Well, you know what? It's just sad to me. Because, like I said, he seems like a real he was a really nice person. I mean, like I said, I like to show him. So he was, he wasn't keen to show in real life. You know. I can see him as a director, as a leader in a movie, as a director, I think he could have been a good one. I see him, the man, as just a leader in his way, and I think he had a good heart, you know. I think he was a man that had a good heart and cared for people in real life. He seemed to, you know, to me along with everybody, and it's just sad that he, 
he died way too young. 43 is way too young. And, uh, it's just way too young to pass away. He had a full life ahead of him. A full life ahead. He could have lived on. And it said, you know, I don't want to, you know, speak too much about Christianity. I, I just don't want to speak too much about that. I'm not trying to pressure anybody into anything like that, you know. It's, but I don't want to mention that right now, you know. But all I can say is rest in peace. All, all I say with my love, my prayers go back to, and thoughts, my prayers and thoughts go out to his family. And uh, just kind of remember yourself to save my massage for him and his family. So go, you know, send them prayers out your way, you know. And uh, all I can say is rest in peace, Chadwick Bosman. You will be missed. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Yes, Wakanda forever. You know, no one can say that better than him, but I'll say rest in peace, Chadwick Bosman. Wakanda forever. And guys, uh, Thanks for, well, if you didn't watch, I don't care if you didn't watch, I'm like, hey, I'm not trying to get any, I don't care, I don't want this video to get much views anyway, this was a tribute video, and, uh, yo, I just wanted to say my respect to him, that I'm going to miss him, for some peace, Channel Bosman again, I just can't help saying it, we'll call it forever, and I'll see you guys later, thanks for watching, have a good day, bye-bye, bye. -bye. bye.